Hey, how's it going? Good, how's it going? I have this amazing comic book I would like for you guys to check out. Yeah, let me see it. Yeah, don't you touch that. <laughs> Why? You know what this is? Spider-Man? Uh, this isn't just, like, number one Spider-Man. This is the first time anybody saw Spider-Man. Oh. You have one of the, like, holy grails of comic books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where did you get this? Uh, my brother and I, about 20 years ago, we bought a collection of comic books, and this was just, just in there. That's amazing. Oh, you're like the guy who buys the uh, Andy Warhol at a, a garage sale. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell one of the most amazing comic books that's ever been. I'm going to ask $16,000. I think if they'll see the potential of this, I mean, everybody knows Spider-Man with all the movies. I think this is a great opportunity for them to get this item. Well, that's real, man. I'll be blown away because The Amazing Spider-Man was the number one in this series. This is like the introduction to that. It was kind of like the comic books version of a TV pilot. Yeah. You know, they, they did it, they tested it out, they gave the whole backstory, and I think we all know how well Spider-Man has caught on. Well, this was a whole new era for comic books. It's hard to exaggerate how important this thing is. I mean, this is where the entire mega franchise of Spider-Man began. And to collectors, it's practically priceless. I could probably charge people just to look at it. So do you have any particular amount you're looking for on it? Yeah, I'd like to sell it for 16000 For a comic book? For this comic book. Um, you know, it might be worth it. Comic books had their heyday where they were going for obscene amounts of money, and then they dropped. Do you mind if I have a buddy of mine come down and take a look at it? He can give me an idea of what it's worth. That'd be great. I mean, to be quite honest with you, I don't even want to be responsible for taking this thing out of the cover. Let me give him a call and I'll be right back. Uh, that'd be great. This is one of the most valuable comic books ever, but price tag depends on condition. So I'm gonna need to bring in the big guns to help me out on this one. Amazing Fantasy 15, man, fantastic. I've seen one in a 9.6 condition go for over a million dollars. That's exactly why I didn't want you to touch it. <laughs> So what are your concerns about the book, Corey? You know, I can tell the difference between a 1 and a 10, but I can't tell the difference between a 4 and a 7. <laughs> yeah. It's apparent we see some chipping here, which is very common with the paper they used back then. It's really tough to duplicate that. Let me just make sure we have all the pages here. This is such a classic page here. High school setting, Peter Parker. He's Midtown High's professional wallflower. So they're kind of poking fun of him. Everything looks intact. Doesn't seem like we're missing any pages. That's great, man. What do you think? On a scale of 1 to 10, now I'd put this in the 5 range. Very good to find condition. Closer to the six to $7,000 range. Really? That's way, way less than where I would put it. Um, just you got a lot of issues on the cover, and the cover is everything. The million dollar book, you would have had none of this shipping, no stamp. You would have had no staining, no binding issues, no creases. Right on, Johnny. I appreciate it. All right, cool. I was really shocked when he said $7,000. The condition of fine would be worth a whole lot more than $7,000. What's your bottom number on the contract? I, I mean, I, I was saying 16, and I would go 13. 13. I mean, the most I'm going to pay is 7. I mean, so we've got a huge gap there. I can tell you from my experience, this is the worst time in history to be selling comic books. Mm. I could go 11. You know, with the condition issues that it has, it's just not there for me. All right, bottom line, 10,000. You know, man, I hate to lose the comic over 3,000 bucks, but I've got to stick at seven. Sorry, man. All right. Appreciate it. I would love to have the superpower of kind of helping someone see things clearly. I think they would have realized this is worth a whole lot more than $7,000.